Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is, well, another one-off, actually. Uh, I've got a package in today from a company who I've actually done some reviews for them in the past, and uh, they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do a video for one of their new products. Uh, and so I did, and this is by, or this product is from Vastfire. As you can see here, we've got three pieces. This came in a, uh, it was actually mailed in a bag. So of course things got kind of squished a little bit. All right, everybody. So I uh, went ahead and just grabbed everything out of the boxes and spread it out here. So we have a handful of stuff that we can go through. Um, well, we'll just grab here. First thing we got, we actually got two of these. Uh, one was in the main box with uh, the light. The other one was in that uh, smaller package. So uh, these, of course, are the mounts, which is uh, you just press a little lever on the side and it slides in and out. You uh, unscrew it, and when you unscrew it, this will tilt out and you can open it up. This other one's a little looser. There we go. So it'll tilt out like that. You just put it over the uh, handlebars, and it will, uh, of course, clamp down. As you screw it in, it'll tighten it up as it needs to. There is uh, some rubberization here, uh, basically like a rubber stick with some crosshatch pattern there to give it some texture and some grip. So uh, that's pretty nice. One thing I do notice is this one's uh, kind of robust. Very nice that way. Uh, we've got, of course, the backlight here. Um, and uh, you can see it has the little rubber thing here or the little connector here. And it goes on this rubber thing where it just slides in and snaps in there. And then to release it, you just press a lever and slide it out. It is, of course, USB chargeable. Uh, the little rubber strap here, of course, goes around the tube of your, generally, it's going to be the tube of your seat. And uh, you can tighten it if necessary. You've got multiple levels, obviously. You're probably not going to be using the last two. Uh, I doubt the seat post is that small. But, uh, and then with the light, uh, here's a flash warning here. We're probably going to have a few of those. So first one, we've got solid. We've got the fast flash slow flash up or it's going to go from one side to the other and then vice versa then the fast one and a slower one that just goes back and forth and then you've got off uh, now let's see we've got the little connector right here that you use to charge it just pull that out and it's a nice little kind of rubber seating and that goes along with one of these there we go now this is a USB-B micro. That's the one that has that kind of flat side with the two little like, uh, like clippy things, whatever you want to call them. They're basically pressure points to hold it in there so it seats in. So it can only go in in one direction. It's not like the new ones uh, where you can flip it either way. And that's probably just so you know which one goes to what. Not that it would matter. But uh, so there we go with that. Uh, we've got, like I said, I showed that. We also have the uh, other uh, mounting point, and this is actually if you have some type of GoPro mount. So if you have a GoPro mount on your bike, or even if you wanted to, like on a helmet or something like that, you could actually attach it there. Um, for example, if you're gonna go exploring, you want to attach this to your, to your helmet, you get off the bike, you leave the bike there, but you still want the light, you wanna be hands-free, you could have it attached to your helmet and just keep going, I guess. Uh, but it's the same kind of thing, little push button, slides on, snaps in. Uh, matter of fact, we'll do that right now. Let's see which way does it go. I think just like that. There we go. Nice and solid. Nice and solid. That doesn't slide around at all. Uh, I press the button, and then it just slides right back out. It is pretty firm, so uh, that's kind of nice. We'll do it on uh, this one here. So we just find a, we'll go forward this way or this way. There we go. So slide it on like that and there you go and the nice thing is this has a notch on both sides so you can actually turn it around and uh, go the other way yeah it's still got to feed it from that direction it looks like there we go so you can have this facing either direction and this will mount to it um, either way uh, just to get this out of the way we have this other cable which i'm sure is for this um, and let's see which is right here Oh, well, we got 
the charging port, which is the standard USB-A connection. So you can, of course, charge other things with this, or you can take and charge it with this, and that is the USB-C. Um, that's the one where you can turn it around, and it doesn't matter which way you plug it in. Um, so that's the newer connection right there. So obviously you're going to have to make sure if you want to charge one of these, you grab the right one. Uh, now we've got the actual light here, the actual light, as you can see, um, not real big unit, nice fits in my hand, um, has some weight to it. I think that's because of the battery that's in this. Um, the battery in this is going to be obviously pretty decent if it's going to be charging other devices like your phone. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, in that aspect, because that means it's going to last a long time. Uh, this is made out of aluminum. Um, as you can see, it does have some uh, nice little kind of decorative cutting into there. Now, as you can see on the front, we do have three lights that go here. You can see these two have the kind of the fins or ribs or whatever uh, that go there, and that's for uh, a diffuser. Uh, and then you've got this center one, which has kind of the normal look for an LED. Think of it like a headlight. Uh, this is set up to kind of be like a high and low beams kind of thing. So uh, when you got your low beams, they're, they're aimed down a little bit more and they uh, are a little bit dimmer and that kind of a thing. And uh, so what we do is we'll hit the one button. There's two arrows here as well. Just so you notice, there is a little uh, pad right here. Uh, it doesn't show anything as it is right now, but when we hit the light, there is... A number there and uh, we're 82 and that's 82 percent uh, and now as you can see this is the two lights uh, that are at the sides there pretty nice light that's the bright setting um, as you can see the lower arrow is uh, or the the arrow closest towards the back I guess is the one that's on uh, you hit it again and it does a slow dim to the next level down so that would be like the medium level lighting and then you've got it where it slow dims down again to a low level lighting. And then uh, careful, we maybe end up flash again, I believe. Yeah, slow flash. And then we've got another one. And this is the SOS signal. So those of you who know Morse code, um, this is what you use when you're trying to get somebody's attention. So, and then we press it again and it shuts off. And if we press the forward one, there you see it's more concentrated. It's a little bit whiter. The other one had a little bit more of a, uh, a yellow tint to it, and that yellow tint, similar to uh, the standard halogen bulbs on a car, and uh, it's going to have also all the different levels. So you've got high, we've got medium, and as you could see, it was a slow dim down, which is really cool. Instead of that sharp decrease, you just hit it, and it dims down slowly. Uh, it's just a nice transition. And then we've got the low, which that's fairly dark. Uh, but when you're in very or dark situations, uh, a little bit of light goes a long way. Uh, and then we've got the flashing, and this is a simple slow. Uh, we've got, of course, looks like the SOS again. So three fast, three slow, and then three fast again, and then off. Now, if you want to go ahead and have both of them on, both sets, what you're going to do is hit the button twice quickly. So boom, boom there and then both of them come on and then you can hit the button once and it dims it a little bit hit the button again dims it a little bit more hit the button one last time and then it shuts them all off so when you have both of them going you're not going to do the um, kind of the safety lights per se uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the bike uh, we're going to go ahead out and uh, in a dark area of course just like we usually do all right so here we go out on the road just past it street light you can see another one up there it is pretty dark not quite as dark as it shows in the screen i do have this set to the lowest setting and i have both lights on so uh we'll try this now i'm going into an area here that's uh that's pretty dark there's no lights up ahead on this one so we'll go ahead and get a good view of what this looks like when it's almost completely dark. So here we go, this is high, and this is on the center beam. Again, this is pretty white. Uh, go to medium. As you can see, it does that slow dim. I'm gonna go to low. It's a lot more dim. Still pretty decent. Um, 
it does of course look dim it does uh, light up the area a little bit more than it shows on here the light spreads out and diffuses and uh, still lights up the area around you reasonably well and then here we've got the high for the double light as you can see it does cover a much wider area and that's of course medium and then low and because it's diffused as you can see here it looks really dark it is definitely not that dark in real life um, still lights up the area nicely it is a little bit dark um, of course I still do have some lights around me that uh, kind of throw it off so if you're in even a darker setting it would seem even brighter but uh, that's where we're at with that okay so here we go I'm about uh, oh, about 15 feet roughly back from the bike you can see the backlight there it's on solid and then of course from the back you can see how much that's lighting up that's the wide beam uh, on high and uh, let's go ahead and move up now you can see I do have this set horizontally uh, the way the thing's set up it will uh, mount vertically as well but uh, keep an eye out there will be some flashing here so there's the strobe slow strobe the side to side reverse and then the fast one and then the double side to side like double flashing and then it's off so uh, like I said can uh, adjust this and set it up so it's vertical and there we go that's what it looks like on vertical all right if you guys would like to see this uh, in the Amazon store you can go down there there's a link of course to this as well as links to all my social media my PayPal link that helps out the channel if you want to as well as uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that subscribe button and that bell icon so you know when i've got new videos coming out here on world of me my name's cougar this is the world of me and uh, i would like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye